We have multi-talented gold augment and three cost start. Multi-talented lets you have two traits for each of your headliners. That one's a really weird one to play. I think I'm going to go with three cost start. Also, if my hair looks wet, it's because I just got out of the shower. We just got back from the dog beach. So that's also why you would see a wet dog running around here every now and then. But happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Ooh, hard steal possibility. I'd be down. Jax, Jax, Bard. Bard, if I hit him as a headliner, is very good. Any, any reroll, it's pretty good. I'm debating on it. But if I hit just a Cassante heart steal, I have three heart steal I can put in. I'm not taking it. Tier bow. Bruiser Kench. That one's worse than the last one. Could take Punk and put it in for a turn. That way I get the one reroll next turn. I'm probably not going to play Punk, but I want it in so I get that extra reroll. Sword, Spear of Shojin. Gold Augment, not remember your roots. Twin Terror is like, okay. Vampirism. Pumping up? I'm kind of down to take Pumping up. Give it to me. Cassante. Doo doo. We got it. Heart Steel Opener. We're not going to win. I'm not expecting to. It says Aphelios is good with Spear of Shojin. I'm kind of like weird on that. I guess he has pumping up, so I might as well. And we want to make sure that we don't lose too bad. Like this guy's cat too. If I can just kill a unit here, I'll be happy. Nice. So heart steel is the new lost streak trait. Essentially, whenever you lose, let me see if I can hit 10, I can't, nine. But whenever you lose, I'm going to get 10 hearts in this tour case. If I kill a unit, I also get a heart. So then after four player combats, you get to cash out and it it's really nice that you cash out after four player combats instead of like what it used to be where you have to win with all these traits. And I think I'm going to go last whisper is my second Aphelios item. Let's look around. Hyper pop, emo, KDA, mosher, KDA, 8-bit, executioner. So I need to find set and a heart steel headliner of some kind. If there is a spat on carousel, I'm slamming it. I don't care. I have to slam it. Kill the Kinch. You can do it, Aphelios. We have faith. Oh, 68 health. KDA Kaisa, I normally would be super down for, but not this time, because I'm trying to lose streak. I'll just throw in a Jinx for rapid fire. Or I could throw in second Cassante and have possibility to hit 20. That doesn't seem like the play though. There is somebody else that's actually trying to lose streak. This top G wheat guy looks like he's trying to lose streak. Ooh, we're gonna get some kills here. Might get two. I'm fine with one, but we might be able to kill this Tarek. We can, nice. Yeah, I will take a two unit loss. So we want either set or glove. Right, there's no set, there's no spat. So I just want the glove for a last whisper. I think I'm gonna try Spear of Shojin, last whisper, IE. We get to cash out next turn. If we lose, we'll hit probably 43. I'm not sure if this guy's gonna sell out or not. Doesn't look like he is. And I think we lose to him just as is. We can only hit 27. We definitely lose this fight. Yeah, two star Nar, for sure lose. But we got a kill. All right, give me a good cash out. 44 gold, what's the 44, or what's the eight gold cash out? Imagine it's just two spats. It was just gold. Well, that's sad. I just got eight gold, that's not fun. Let's look around. Emo, KDA, Executioner, KDA, Superfan, 8-bit. I want to hold this Bard, because if I see a Bard headliner, I do really want to try it. And... MF is really good at holding Last Whisper. Bard is fine at holding the Spear of Shojin. Bang. Okay. Okay. A one unit loss. That's a two unit loss. That's fine. I still haven't played the Dudes yet. Like, I haven't actually gotten to play a Bard game. But I imagine it's good with pumping up as well. I need to think about how to make that transition. Because I don't think anyone else is playing it. Sword. Set. Gold. Yeah, the only way I'm going to make the change is if I do see the Bard headliner. For now, I think I'm just okay leveling. Just level and throw in set. I probably want to hold Kennen if that's the case. Do I want to hold uh, Lilia? Maybe. Probably. I'm going to hold the Lilia. Just in case. We can still stay above 50 and hold Lilia. Is he learning to spell with Kaisa carry? That's weird. Reach the summit? Uh, I, it's probably Tiny Titans. I'm going to take Tiny Titans. And we did hit the Bard Headliner. All right, I'm going to swap these out. We still have Heart Steel in until we get our next rewards. Play Seraphine in that spot. Probably means we're re-rolling, right? Ooh, Seraphine 2. Do I care about that? I probably want it to be Kaisa, I would think. It's supposed to be Kaisa. I'm not going to take it then. There's another Bard. And an Ari if I wanted it. 
which I kind of do, but at the same time, it's probably not worth it. So his headliner effect, so each time he casts for the first time in each fight, for each eight times he's cast it, that means that he's going to do one more. So late game, he does a lot more. And we still have two more until we can cash out our rewards. Cassante 2 is okay. I need to make sure I'm watching for... There's an MF. I'm going to take the MF here. Give her my last whisper. And probably a sword item. Uh, he has an MF in as well. We might win this fight, and that's okay. Oh, wow. We're way higher on life than I expected us to be compared to everyone else, but a part of that's Tiny Titans. Oh, Bard let us hit 50. Thank you. So right now he's doing one additional dude. We get our cash out on Heart's Deal, and then we'll move on. I'm taking Spat if I can. No, somebody else got it. Uh, Sword, I probably want Glove for an IE. Yeah, I'll take Glove or Rod. Yeah, Glove's better. All right, let's build out Team Planner really quick. Kennen, Lilia, Kaisa, Bard, MF, Nico. We got a TG. There's my Nico. There's a Kaisa. Move these into the right hexes. I'm going to TG Nico. Cassante will come out. So we need to figure that out. There's another Kaisa. Oh, I should slam my IE. I don't know why I didn't slam it already. We want a JG here, probably. And then we need to figure out what our other units are. Uh, Echo is one, I think. I haven't played really any of this, but Echo gives us two traits here, so it's definitely Echo. And then whenever we level up, it's Lucian. Yeah, that's our seven and eight. But I need to hit this Bard three first. There's a Kennen. Let's get these into the right hexes. Jazz MF. That's also pretty tempting. I don't think I'm supposed to take it, though. I think I'm supposed to just play this as is. What are we at now? Still one dude. I need more dudes. So he has to cast one more time to give me two extra dudes. There we go. So now we have two extra dudes. I have zero experience with this comp. Like, actual zero. But it's supposedly the best comp in the game right now. I can swap these two out. Ooh, that's a great shop. Nico and a Bard. So we're two off of Bard 3. Belt, Glove. I mean, that's JG. I'm definitely building JG. And then probably just a Sunfire on Echo once I find him. Keep it rolling, though. One more Bard. There's Echo. I don't have anything in the comp right now that's not going to be in later. Do I just roll until I find it? Probably. Hopefully we don't have to roll. To there we go. Bard 3. Now I can level. Probably should have leveled and just went ahead. Because I'm putting the Sunfire here every time. Give him the dudes. Go. How many more? We're at two extra dudes. With the infinite scaling. And we need four more casts to hit a third. Not tons of stats. Not Contagion. This is actually an insane augment right now, but I think it's just gifts from the Fallen. Level, throw an Echo. I'm gonna move to this kind of positioning. Anyone playing MF now? Samira, no one's playing MF. He, oh, this guy's playing MF. He has four Jazz in. That's sad for me. I need this guy to go out. He's at 28. So we're very similar comps, but I have Bard Headliner. He has MF Headliner. He has way less health than me though. So that's good news. At least he has way less health. And all I care about is two-starring these three units. Give me more dudes. There we go. One more cast, then he gets to do three additional dudes. Echo 2. Let's look at what he's playing. Almost the exact same thing as me, but he has a Lucian with a rat or a blacksmith's gloves. And he has all these two-starred. I do have the three-star bard, though. And him three-starring MF is going to be harder because of me. We do get the fight. We have two dudes right now. Yeah, we have two additionals. Now that now we'll have three for the rest of the game. 
So that's very good news. And we're going to beat this guy. And we dropped gold. Let me get 30 real quick. There's no Lucian here. I need to think about third MF item, which should be some kind of sword or glove item. I'm thinking guard breaker. I'll take sword, glove, whichever one's left with the highest amount of gold. Or belt, Nico is actually okay too. All right, I'll take sword. We don't need any kind of attack speed items because we have these, we're pumping up already. I do want to roll on seven, I think though, but it's, eh, that's debatable. Like, I don't want to roll until this guy's out. Yeah, I can't roll until he's gone, I don't think. Once he's gone, I'll feel happy rolling. This is the learning dispel guy, but he didn't commit to his learning dispel. So he kind of lost one of his augments by doing that. Oh, this bard unit is so good. 7k damage. There's another Nico, which I'm definitely holding. His Nico 3 might be my, like, win con. This guy's also holding Nico's. He went 8. He went 8 and didn't roll. I'm not going 8 yet, but he went 8 to try and make sure he didn't die. Because he definitely had a chance. Long Distance Pals Country is really good, but he doesn't have a headliner in. Yeah, he doesn't have a headliner in, which doesn't make sense. We still have one stars, though, on our front line. Come on, I have faith. I have faith in the dudes. Yeah, give him all the dudes. 11, that was 11K in one dude. This chairman guy can get super strong though. He has four jazz. I'm probably supposed to level to eight and roll it down after this fight, I think. I need to find at least one MF, but I think I'm supposed to level to eight and roll it down and then re-econ back up because I can hit a lot of these one star upgrades. There's a guard breaker or a giant slayer. Level, bully up here. My throw in can kind of be anything. There's MF2, Kaisa2. Right, now I'm stable enough. What's my item gonna be? It's prob This belt is probably just supposed to be like even shroud and then I just go giant slayer here. Or Morellos. Or actually, no, I'm just gonna go another TG. Yeah, I'll just go with a second TG. How many dudes are we at? Four additional dudes. There's an MF. I'm definitely gonna hold all the MFs too, because keeping this guy from hitting MF3 is gonna be great. He's going for nine. Where does my TG go? I would think normally it's like Kinnon, but maybe it's in this uh, slot supposed to be Blitz. Oh, great Blitz items. Rage Blade Static Shiv. I still think I'm stronger than this guy. So we should be good. And I hit a lot of upgrades since we last fought him. Yeah, let's take him out. Knock him out with the dudes. There we go. Don't let him kill another unit. Oh, that puts him to like three. It's definitely like Lucian is easily my best unit to throw in. After that, I already have Dazzler. It would just be a rapid fire unit. So I should be looking for a rapid fire unit in this slot. There's another Nico. There's, there's a lot that I can hit by rolling. Well, I guess it's really just like two units, kind of. All they need to worry about is making sure I don't get a Lucian off the carousel. <laughs> or a Jazz Emblem. Jazz Emblem would be very, very bad for me to get. As far as for the rest of the lobby. Oh, we got stunned by that? We need more dudes. Oh, we're gonna lose this fight. We do infinitely scale, though. So we're gonna get stronger and stronger. There isn't a Jazz Emblem. I mean, I guess I take another TG if they give it to me, but if I don't get that, is it like Steadfast Heart? I'll take Hodge. Hodge is just a versatile item. Another MF? All right, do I roll here? And what rapid fire unit am I playing? I'm gonna roll. All right, I know Aphelios is rapid fire. I'm just taking it to look. Oh, it's Caitlyn. Caitlyn's what we're playing. Another MF? All right, let's save more gold again. We'll save until after the boss and then after Elder Dragon, we'll roll the rest of the way down. All right, do, do more. This guy's crowd diver. Is this guy gonna go out? Finally, he goes out, nice. That gives us a chance to hit MF3. And we're at five dudes, we only need one more. There's Kinnon pair. I guess I'll hold Echo. 
I have my Bard in the middle just because there are players playing Crowd Diver, and if they're playing Crowd Diver, it's going to go to the furthest enemy. But now, actually, nobody's playing Crowd Diver anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. So I could go like left or right side. Which I probably should do because there's multiple people who have built D claws out on me now. Also, Static Shift Rageblade again on our TG. Hit him with the dudes. Oh, you got stunned. Sad. Wait. Dudes? Dudes? Yes! Oh, I didn't even slam my Hodge. That's just dumb. Yeah, I don't think I'm leveling here. Yeah, I think I'm staying at 8 this entire game. This guy's going for 10. But if I'm staying at 8 the entire game, I just need to roll for the MF3 and I think I should be fine. We have 6 additional dudes right now. Oh, we hit an MF there too. So I'll hit 40. Another Sunfire or Stead. I'm going Steadfast Heart. Alright, let's roll it down. MF, Nico, Nico. So we're one off both. Lilia 2. Nico 3. Lucian. And then we just need one more MF. I guess I'll throw this belt over here, because why not? Now we're getting a 24% health bonus and a 16% damage bonus. Uh, we need you to hit him with the dudes, Bard. Bard, I need more dudes coming out of you. Dang it. Um, where are you aiming? There we go. It's fine. And MF3. Nice. What is our pumping up at? We're at 33% attack speed. We can only hit Kennen as an upgrade now, which is kind of sad. Uh, this guy does not have D-Claw built, so I don't have to worry about that. But if I lose, I still have a chance to level here, I think. The dudes. I should move for Thresh. Didn't think about that one. So I was missing one. That Karthus did absolutely nothing. That's kind of sad. We dropped gold. Good win. And then this guy did win. I need to think about Caitlyn because that adds in my extra trait for Jazz. Playing against this guy who doesn't have a D-Claw, but he's a stone plate. I moved around to get the Bard out of Thresh this time. I think that's important. Keep him out of the Thresh range. Ooh, double stone plate. I do think stone plate's like way worse now. I don't know why. It just feels way worse. Is this top two now or is Frogfish gonna win? Frogfish is gonna win. It kind of feels like I'm playing for first and they're just playing for who's gonna be second. There's a jazz emblem. If they give me jazz emblem, it's game over. What are you yelling at? Oh, I take the emo emblem to keep this guy from taking six emo. At least it gives me something there. And it was on a Yorick. The guy took Jazz Emblem specifically, so I couldn't have it. So I have to take the Emo Emblem so the other guy can't have it, right? And if we win this fight, then I can level. I could just throw in Emo now. If only there was an Emo Rapid Fire unit. I understand that he has to take Jazz Emblem there, though. Because if he doesn't, I just win the game, I think. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure I would just win the game. Oh, he's actually going to beat me here. Wait, wait, nope, never mind. MF. I forgot that I still had a three-star MF alive. And now we can level. So, And there's a Caitlyn. That gives me rapid fire. Or I can take Poppy as another frontliner with emo. So is rapid fire better here for attack speed or emo better for the mana? We'll see. This guy is like slowly getting stronger. Why does he have 40 gold? He's supposed to roll down against me, right? He hasn't beaten me yet, so I don't know why he wouldn't roll down when he's fighting me. Yeah, now he's out. 10,000 damage from MF. And this guy, does he win? Looks like he wins. Okay, so we do have one more fight. Nope, never mind. He lost to the Karthus. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to let me know down below and drop a sub so you can catch the daily content.